Hello, this is Ben Mason Heimer with Silver Seas Yachts. Today I'm at my office in Newport Beach, California, and I'd like to walk you through our 2019 Tierra C44. She has a Seakeeper 6 gyro stabilizer, Volvo Pinta, IPS 600 engines, and all the features that you'd want for Southern California. Let's go ahead and check her out. Here at the stern of the C44, we have a hydraulic swim platform by Nautical Structures. This comes with integrated tender chocks and pad eyes. The tender chocks drop into these sockets here in the center and they're adjustable to any size boat. With the push of a button on your key fob while sitting on your boat or a push of a button on the transom of the boat, this will lower down underwater and allow you to launch and retrieve your tender. Here we have a Kenyan electric barbecue. Below that, we have an isotherm refrigerator and freezer. This slides out. And this is just a great entertaining area. You have 110 power, you have light, you have a barbecue, you have a refrigerator. All your guests are just forward of you on the cockpit. So very useful space. With the push of one button, our trunk opens up. And it's a very large trunk, but you can see your tender chocks there and the life jackets and things it comes with. Uh, you can also service your generator and pods and hydraulic swim platform through this area and it also goes back and around the corner. You have light in here and another 110 volt outlet. The Tierra 44 has a dual entry cockpit. If we come up the starboard side, the first thing we come to is a hot and cold water shower. Then we have integrated fresh and raw water wash downs with your city water hookup as well. On the port side entryway, we have our 50 amp Glendenny shore power retractor. This will put out your cord for you and bring it back in with the flip of a switch. We also have cable TV hookups, shore power breakers, and GFI plugs. The cockpit of the C44 is great for entertaining. We have two aft facing seats, very wide, large enough for two people most definitely. This one has a 10 inch subwoofer in the back of it and either one of them has an insulated draining ice chest underneath them. The bench seat across the transom is beautifully constructed and very comfortable. It features a teak table on a high-low pedestal. Above us, we have the Makefast Sun Awning. This is a beautiful feature. It deploys silently with the touch of one button and retracts the same way. It's very sturdy and very reliable. You can also see we have a rear view facing camera here. As we step into the salon, we come to our galley on the starboard side. It has beautiful onyx Corian countertops. We have isotherm drawer style refrigerator and freezer here. Rubbish bin below the sink. Here's our convection oven microwave with storage drawers below. And then we have our Kenyan stovetop here. Our sink is a real nice stainless steel sink. Very nice faucet, beautiful fixtures. Uh, we have a light that shines out under the countertop. We have another light here. Our television comes out of the side of this cabinet above the galley. And that cabinet has storage for dishes and it has dish dividers that uh, uh, pop into these little holes here so you can put different sized dishes in. Here's your wine rack, your wine glasses, and you have a smart DVD player for the television just here. Across the way from the galley, we have our salon seating area. I like how it's elevated, giving everyone a great view while underway. Here we have a large storage compartment. Right now I have it full of pillows, but it's a great pantry for the galley. Here's another storage under the stair here. And we have this great salon table here, beautifully constructed and beautifully finished and it has a second set of rods that lower it down and there's a filler cushion that goes on top making a queen berth here in the salon. We also have this cup holder. It can be moved around within the boat. You can also use it outside of the cockpit. We have opening windows on either side and of course a very nice large sunroof. Here at the vessel's panel we have our generator stop start controls bilge pump and blower controls, electrical monitoring systems, tank monitoring systems, high water alarm, two zones of heat and air for the salon, fusion stereo and inverter. 
the port side salon AC and heat comes out just here and the starboard side comes out behind the helm seat. Our lower panel has traditional switches. You don't really use this much because you can just leave everything the way you'd like and hit the switches up above to energize the batteries as you come aboard. There's a little storage above it and then you have some more storage in the drawer. The helm seat is quite large and two people can comfortably sit here while underway. It's electronically operated fore to aft and as it comes forward it also goes up in height. Here we have spotlight controls, Seakeeper 6 gyro stabilizer controls, the boat features the Volvo Penta glass cockpit system. This is a collaboration between Garmin and Volvo Penta. So you have all of your navigational aids like GPS, chart plotting, radar, and sonar, along with all of your engine data, all in one easy place. You can even control your stereo through this screen. Here's our switches. The switches are backlit as well as the panel. We have a generator indicator light and bilge pump indicator light here. Here's your Volvo Smart Throttles. They have one lever mode, low speed mode, and also cruise control mode. Below that, we have our Linko Auto Trim tabs. Then we come to our ignitions. We have our VHF radio here, USB cup holders, and another AC vent here. And last but not least, this opening window that allows you to get the perfect amount of air. And it's forward of the driver, so the air will actually blow right on you, which is very nice. Let's go ahead and head down below decks. We'll step down three teak stairs with stainless accents, and we have a handrail which lights up underneath. As we move forward into the master V-berth, we have a very large queen-size bed. It has storage below. A storage drawer underneath. We have a nice cedar lined hanging locker, storage cubbies on either side, opening portholes on either side, we have USBs, two to a side here, and then another storage here, and one just like it on the other side. We have reading lamps behind the bed there, and then here we have a port hatch. Here's your Samsung television. It has a smart DVD player with it as well. Below that we have AC and stereo controls. Here's our master head. Beautifully appointed. Plenty of storage. You have storage below. Great fixtures. You have a medicine cabinet behind. Push button style toilet. And then you have your full shower with adjustable shower head and teak bench. The master V-berth has an optional accordion door that can fold out and pin in place for extra privacy when you have guests aboard. And here's what it looks like with the accordion style door folded out and pinned in place. Here in our day head we have medicine cabinets, we have a porthole, here's your sink, we have storage below, beautiful wood flooring, here's our shower and head. Again very nicely appointed and we have this teak bench that folds down over the vacuum flush toilet. As we step down into our midship stateroom, we will come to our light switches and air conditioning and heating controls for this area. We have two berths. One is longer than the other. The shorter one has storage underneath it. And we have our filler cushions here that fill in the two beds and will make one large bed. We have a lot of natural light and opening portholes on either side. This is really nice for Catalina. We have more storage here. Here's our television, and the whole boat is pre-wired for satellite television. We have a very large hanging locker. This is the filler cushion for the salon. We have more storage up above. The midship stateroom also features this great seating area. It's really handy for getting your shoes on or just hanging out and uh, checking your email or reading a book. As we exit the midship stateroom, I wanted to point out the boat comes with an onboard built-in vacuum cleaner. As we move forward to the bow of the C44, we have very generous walkways, handrails built into the side of the hardtop, and a tall and sturdy bow rail. Here we have our anchor locker. We have an all-chain windlass. And look at that chain. I mean, that's heavy duty. Lumar windlass here. Here's our lock. And we have a polished stainless anchor. Forward of that, we have a spotlight, and I might mention, you have a handheld control for the windlass. The bow pad of the C44 is very large, 
It's done in the same gray ultra leather that we have in the cockpit. Both backrests come up independently to three different positions so you can get comfortable. You have one cup holder and one phone holder on either side and the boat even comes with a Bluetooth speaker to use while you're up here. Here on our hardtop, we have our Garmin HD 48 mile array radar, a true air horn, two antennas, a steaming light, a television antenna, and there is our DPS antenna just on the other side of the horn. Okay, that's going to wrap up our tour of this Tierra C44. She's in inventory at our Newport Beach office, ready to go to her new home. If you'd like more information about this boat or any of the other brands we sell, please feel free to give me a call or shoot me an email. Also, if you need help buying or selling a brokerage boat, I can help you with that as well. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you out there on the water.